What's going on investors, Dust here from Investments and today I'm going to bring you the second part of this video and this is going to cover how to set up a Guardian node on Theta. So before we begin we'd like to thank our Patreon supporters. So I appreciate the support from these gentlemen here. If you'd like to join the link will be in the description below. We also got a Discord so if you want to join that the link is also in the description below. Now, before we begin the video today about Guardian nodes, I want to backstep and talk about the video I made yesterday about the Theta Edge nodes. So in this video, I have a correction to make. So I did say that running two Edge nodes on two separate computers would benefit you. Well, it turns out that you actually want to have two separate wallets set up for those. Um, I pinned a message from Harry he explained how he did some tests and that you actually need two different wallets set up to run two different edge nodes on two separate computers which is no problem you saw how easy it is to set up a wallet we did that yesterday together all right now let's get into it to run a guardian node you are going to need a thousand t fuel and a constant uptime on your pc so first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to the Theta website, thetatoken.org, and you're going to want to scroll down. So yesterday we set up a wallet here. So if you haven't done that already, you're going to want to do that. If you need tips on how to do that, we covered that in the last video. And we're going to want to open our key store file, which we saved yesterday. Open that and then enter our wallet password to unlock our wallet. Okay, as you can see in my wallet, I don't have any Theta in this wallet. So I'm just gonna fake it and go as far as I can since I don't have any. But this is now done downloading, so let's open this up. And it's gonna install. And what do we got here? Welcome to the Theta Guardian. Here's your basics to get started. Create a node, sync with the Theta network, Stake your Theta and run your node. So I'm going to continue. Here's my Guardian node password. Same thing. And let's match those. And let's create a node. And this part is going to take some time where it downloads a snapshot and builds a database for us. A lot of times you're going to get this when your Guardian node is syncing where it gets stuck at 99 or 98%. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to your performance tier and either change that to standard or premium. And if that doesn't work and it does the same thing again, you're going to want to go to node at the top and delete node database. You want to do database, not key. And that should get it to sync. It does restart this whole syncing process, so it will take the same amount of time, which is quite a long time. All right, so now our Guardian node is done syncing. And it says, please stake Theta to your Guardian node so it can begin voting on the Theta network. So then it gives you a Guardian node holder summary. You're going to want to copy this. Please don't use mine. This isn't a real guardian node, so I don't know how you would. You'd have to write it down, but don't use mine. Get your own. And what you're going to do is you're going to go to your wallet and we're logged in still and we're going to go stakes. Then you're going to want to deposit a stake into a guardian node. Hit continue. And then you are going to enter your guardian node holder summary. So I'm going to paste that there. And you're gonna to want to put in your amount that you want to stake. So let's say you had a thousand. Uh, and then you are going to want to click deposit stake. Obviously, I don't have any theta in this wallet, so I can't go any further, but you would click deposit stake, and your guardian node screen would change then to show that it is currently operating. So as you can see, this is a screenshot of mine. So you have the address at the top, you have the stake amount shown, I have mine crossed off, how much theta is being staked on the network, uh, how much balance you have of T-Fuel in that account, 
how much you have earned your session earnings. That means how much you have earned in this session of your Guardian node running, how many peers you're connected to, and the network height. And that should be the most recent block. Um, and then at the bottom, you'll also see your recent activity where you're finalizing blocks and broadcasting them out. So that's pretty much it for the Theta Guardian node. Now, one of the tips I've figured out after running mine now is if you have like let's say multiples of a thousand like let's say for instance you have ten thousand it might make sense to stake them in thousand intervals in case you ever want to unstake them that way you don't have to unstake your whole entire balance you could just do increments of one thousand and keep in mind it does take about 54 hours currently to unstake your theta from a guardian node it really wouldn't make sense for you to run two guardian nodes I'm pretty sure it's based on the amount you have staked compared to the total network stake. So it's not really based on your computing power. You just need an adequate computer and constant uptime. So with that, I think that covers pretty much everything regarding Theta nodes. And we're going to begin moving on to other coins now. There's a couple other coins that I want to make a couple videos about. So if you like this content, if you found it useful don't forget to like this video if you want more similar content don't forget to subscribe uh, don't forget about the patreon or the t fuel theta tip address if you got any benefit from this and if i forgot anything or made a mistake or you just want to say what up or tell me anything leave it in the comments below i'm pretty active there and we'll respond don't forget to join up on the discord till next time later